So in this video I'm going to show you the Bacon 2D editor that I've been working on. Now Bacon 2D is a game engine based on QML and Box 2D and this is an attempt to allow you to create games in a fairly sort of easy drag and drop type way. Um, so it gives you a selection of entities, I'll add a background and then drag a few out onto the game area. This is a, a live Bacon 2D game element uh, that we're dropping things onto. Um, these boxes are all static so they'll remain in place but these little balls are dynamics, they'll fall under gravity, they'll bump into things, they'll bounce off in different directions. Um, so I can now set the world playing and the physics all starts running and things bump into each other and fall and all that. And you can reset the world and uh, everything goes back to its sort of starting place, roughly. Um, now, at, at the moment, the entities that you see up here are all have to be created manually by hand as little QML files. I want to add an entity editor, but that's still a little way off. Um, but I'll just show you the creation of a new entity quickly. So we'll just create a new one based on this snow file. Um, we'll create a, a grass one because we have an image for that. Um, so just edit that and replace the snow image with the grass image, but otherwise keep it identical. And then if we load up the editor again, it's picked up on our new grass tile. It scans the game directory for any bits of QML and adds them there. So I'll add a lighter background this time and stick in some of our new grass blocks. And what I'm doing here is creating a little sort of enclosure for one of these flying guys. Um, the, the little flying entity has some scripting to make it flap its wings and uh, every time it flaps its wings it gets a little sort of impulse to push it up and to the side a bit. To make life a little difficult for it I'll drop a ball on top of its head so it'll have something to work against and we can set that running. It's sort of trying to take off but the ball's weighing it down um, ah, and it's got itself free of the ball now and can flap off to freedom. Now um, besides just sort of playing around with things within the editor itself you can save your creation as a little QML file. Uh, if we close the editor you can then launch that as a completely standalone game and everything works as before. Um, it's basically just loading the QML file in uh, QML scene and letting everything run. So there's still quite a bit of work to do on the editor. There's lots of things that are missing and things that are hacky. I mean, at the moment you can't load a file back in after saving it. You can't edit things after placing them. Um, there needs to be that entity editor that I mentioned. But it's gradually getting there.